How's it going guys and welcome back to the Black Metal Rebellion. I'm your host Jesse Morgan aka Slammerella and today we have a neat kind of unpackaging to do from a band called Phantom Witch. You may have been seeing me wear their hat for the last couple of videos including this one now and that is because I made an order from them probably about a month and a half almost two months ago and since they are out on tour, they weren't able to kind of respond to their Bandcamp orders right away. And when they finally did discover that they had an order, it was about a month later and they're like, oops, <laughs> uh, here are our apologies for taking so long. Here is uh, some, some items of our gratitude for making the order. And they shipped this. So thank you Phantom Witch for contributing these to my collection. I definitely will be blasting these when I get the chance. Can't wait. It's been too long since I've had any sort of new Phantom Witch in my collection because the last thing that I got by Phantom Witch was their demon demo back when they were just called Phantom. So that's pretty cool. Can't wait to see what the rest of the stuff is. Like on physical media, I of course have already previewed their their full length album on YouTube for a minute or two just to get a feel of what it was like. Really, really good stuff. Can't wait to see what the whole thing is like. Let's get into this package, shall we? All right, so the first thing that I noticed was that it actually came with a patch, which is awesome because I didn't even know these patches existed. The only ones I remembered were those kind of black denim patches that had the white Phantom Witch logo on them. Really, really cool. Sort of like the, the white uh, logo hats that you actually see Chris Thrasher wear in j -Haw Films. Like he has the white version of this hat, so pretty neat. and. The detail on this is really cool. I love the colors. They 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 pop really well. And yeah, it's it's a very unique looking patch. So that's pretty cool. I was not expecting that in this. I I'm not exactly sure what I was expecting, but I definitely was expecting all of what they sent. So after the demon demo, they came out with this, the self-titled Phantom Witch EP. This was also kind of mentioned on j -Huff Films. I believe uh, <laughs> j -Huff himself actually accidentally threw his copy or accidentally threw Chris's copy on the floor. And he's like, you're buying me a new CD or whatever. It was pretty funny. But this, this is the EP that was in that. Has some really, really good tracks. Death As We Know It, Blood on the Ice, In Delusion, and Demon in Black. <laughs> This is what the C itself looks like. It's got the the logo from the front cover on, on there. Pretty neat. I like the, the symbol there. And this came out in 2018. Now, the other thing that I was hoping that they would throw in was this. Their full-length album, Death As We Know It. Similar to the patch that I just shown. I guess I'll show them side by side just so you can kind of get a kind of a side by side comparison. Pretty close to the original artwork. The only thing that's slightly different is the logo and maybe a little bit of the detail in the the nebula part there. But other than that, it looks really really good. I think this would probably pop more on a vest anyways. So I I applaud their choice there. And this is great, great stuff for sure. Very, very aggressive, heavy thrash. Has some pretty gnarly vocals. Not quite your average raspy thrash vocals, but it kind of kicks it up a notch and is a little bit more extreme. Super stoked to have this in the collection finally. Not much behind the tray, just the track listing amongst the stars there. This copy that was released in 2019 also includes a bonus track which is number 14 and it's a separate version of In Delusion featuring a Mr. Abainza 
I'm not exactly sure who Amara Bainsa is from, but he's apparently featured on that version, so I'll be definitely checking that out and seeing what the difference is between the, the normal album version and the bonus track version with that guy featured on it. I'm assuming it's an extra vocalist, but it could be an extra guitarist featured on there with like a solo maybe. I will have to see. So yeah, stoked to actually get the full length album in on this. Been waiting forever to get my hands on it. And I'm, this thing I don't even think exists on the internet right now. I checked around to try and find the proper album art and that was not happening. But this is, they're, they're currently on tour on a thing called Blood on the Coast 2, Another Dose. Uh, featuring a bunch of different bands, but on this split that apparently exists now has Antihero and Phantom Witch on it, has The Enemy, Torture Chamber, and then by Antihero it has Rolling Thunder and Rocket Fire, which is available on their Rolling Thunder EP that has two other tracks, so check that out by Antihero. But yeah, this was really, really cool to get was not expecting it at all. I didn't even knew, know it existed. All I knew was they were on tour for this thing, but I didn't know they were actually coming out with any sort of physical release. This could potentially be only available through the tour, so I am going to be making sure I keep my hands on this and not let it go because this is probably really, really rare. So thank you so much, Phantom Witch, for sending me this stuff. I, as you can see, have been really, really enjoying the new hats. And you can bet your ass that I'm going to be finding a special spot on my vest for that patch. Hell yes. So, super stoked to now have everything that Phantom Witch has now released. Once again, go check them out. Excellent thrash band from California, US. They're not the old Phantom Witch band. that was kind of like a speed metal band from like the, the late 90s or late 80s, early 90s. This is a more modern bands so definitely make sure you take note of that because i've noticed that on spiritofmetal.com they actually merged the two bands and it's not the same band they've got this album under the old early 80s or late 80s early 90s band's discography and that's not part of their discography it's a totally different band so whoever is monitoring spirit of metal get on that because that's not the same band anywho Hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys check out Phantom Witch. Maybe start with their band camp that I'm going to be providing links to below. Check out all their stuff chronologically. Once again, starting with the Demon Demo and then the self-titled Phantom Witch EP and then finally the full-length album, Death As We Know It. It's neat to see the progression on the tracks and see how they've pro progressed throughout their career so far. Really, really good band. I also have a package from another band that just came in today as well, but you'll be seeing that in a different video. So I can highlight these bands to their full extent separately and let them get their own nice little limelight here because that's how much I appreciate both of these guys. Thanks again. Thanks for watching. For Glory, for the Rebel Alliance, Slamorella out. Fuck yeah. Now all I need is a shirt.